Fuck. Do you want to go fish him? Do you want to go fish him, buddy? <laughs> you do want to go fish him. Alrighty, guys. What is up? Welcome to another episode of Fish in the North. Buck, thank you for hitting the tripod. <laughs> what a goof. Um, today we're out here on Nipsing again. We are in search of walleye and uh, you know, whatever else might come along with it. Didn't quite get to go on the shoal that I was hoping for because uh, it's already got a bunch of people on it, but you know how it is, that's the way she goes. So basically we're trying a new shoal uh, just off the edge of it here and there should be a little bit of a funnel, but uh, I'm gonna get a hole drilled and we'll get the mega live down there, do a little bit of scoping, see what we can see and then make a judgment call as to whether we'll stay here or we'll move to another spot that's kind of close to where we are, but I know that there'll be fish at that spot. So um, it's always important to keep trying new spots because you never know uh, if you can stumble upon something even better. That's the whole, that's the whole show. Well, I forgot the drill. Yep, you helping me make a hole. Perfect. So, I still have my auger. <laughs> and there's like nobody around here. These are all outfitter huts, so none of these guys are gonna have augers. I know, man, I'm upset too, damn. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can drill a hole with my bare hands. Um, this is gonna suck. Thanks, Buck, you're helping. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. This is about to be no fun at all. Oh my goodness, man. Out of there. Out. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I am so wounded. My forearm spot are deceased. This is insane. Like we've got to be at least 14 inches of black ice now. Oh yeah, baby. Yes, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this sucks. This is the part I was worried about. We're through, but I'm gonna get the last little bit. Yeah, dig, 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 fuck. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that sounds probably way more explicit than it needed to be. Yeah, you blow some bubbles in that hole, man. That is the stupidest thing that I've ever had to do. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. Well, Buck, I hope. I hope I picked a good spot because <laughs> we ain't moving nowhere now. No, sir. So 70 feet away from me to my back is uh, it's about 21, 22 feet. Right now I'm posted up in 30 feet. Um, and let me just scan around a little bit here. Yeah, so there must be like a pretty decent sized sandbar because it's pretty much my entire, like probably about 160 degrees behind me. Yeah, and then over this way it actually gets slightly deeper and then it does pick up towards that shoal again. So I do think that we are kind of in a bit of a trough as Navionics had shown. So that really could be quite good. What the fish are up to right now. Hopefully they're not up on top of the shoals because it was really cloudy out. Um, hopefully we'll be able to smack them in here all day long and get some fish cruising through especially as that sunset bite heats up i think what i'll do is i'll probably maybe set the hut up and <laughs> get my chair set up take a breather and what a day i would really like a second hole too that's super duper sad i would love a second hole okay so the lure can you move your paw buck paw 
Thank you. So the lure for right now is going to be a blue and silver Northland rattle spoon, blue and silver, and uh, or buckshot. Pardon me, it's a buckshot, and uh, yeah, just a little bit of a, a shiner head. Buck's going to put his face right in the hole and take a big old drink because he's apparently thirsty too. We're gonna get on down there and see if we can muster something up. Probably wondering what I'm doing, eh? I'm gonna drill another damn hole. That's what. You're funny. You're funny. You're a funny man. You love your ice chunks. Can confirm. Forgetting your drill is horrible. Alrighty. We are set up. And uh, I see a fish slinking in on bottom here actually. Lay down. Lay down. Looks like he might be coming over to check out the minnow. I don't know. So I got a jig and a minnow on this hole here. Oh yeah, he's definitely coming up to check out the jig and the minnow. Came up and nosed it and then just kind of slinked away. He's sitting right underneath it now. I can see him on the Mega Live, but it's uh, 345 now. So should start seeing a, a bunch of fish pulling in here from uh, the deep murky depths, if you want to call it that. Sliding up onto some of this structure for the evening bite here. Oh, hello. Oh wow, yep. Yeah. There's a good hit. Sit. Not losing another dang fish. There we go, baby. There we go. Sit down. Now. Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. Well, this isn't going to be a giant, but might be an eater. She might be an eater. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, Bucky. Hey, buddy. There's a Wally. You're a nice little alligator, eh, Bucky? Oh, yeah. Give him some licks. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's just under 38 centimeter. 38 centimeter walleye with Buck giving her a lick. All right, buddy. She's going back. Yeah, you can snorkel all you want. But it is gone. Oh wow. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Fuck, get out of the way, man. Hop up on your bed now. Now, hop up. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, this thing came out of nowhere, dude. Out of nowhere. I literally just, it must have been belly on bottom. And he's cruising. This dude is cruising. I hope he's got it in his mouth good, because I think I'm gonna hit him here. Holy cow. I hope it's not a pike. Oh yeah, buddy, that's a heavy fish. That's a heavy fish. Oh yeah, buddy. Buck, sit down now. Look out. That's gotta be a pike, dude. This thing's fighting squirrelier than it. This thing's fighting squirrely as heck. Yeah, this is a little pike. It's gotta be. What do we got, Buck? Oh, it's not a pike. It's just a wally. That's a alligator. Wow. Alrighty, that's a good sized walleye. Let's go, dude. Wow. This guy was fighting like a weirdo, dude. Yeah, you can give him a lick. He might actually even be close to keep. He might be close to a keeper. I think he's going to be on the upper side of things, but there's a nice one. Yeah, you give him a little lick, eh? What do you got? Buck. He is. Ah, yeah. 
19 and a half. So that will definitely not keep. He is too big, too big. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get him back. Nice fish. Nice, dude. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, there's a, another fish that's lining up my, my jigging bait. Oh boy. They're moving through. There we go. There we go. What is, why is my drag so loose? What the heck? Fuck. Sit. Good sit. Good sit, master. I don't know what this is. Feels like a decent walleye. Yes, it does. Feels like a pretty good one. There we go, buddy. There we go, buddy. Look at that buck. Look at that buck. Hey. Sit. Yes, sir. There we go, leave it. Thank you. This is there, right here. Nice little Ollie. Just came cruising in and crushed it. Look out, Buck. Look out. And yeah, he's uh, <laughs> 39 centimeters. 39. Which means it also gets to go back. There we go. Yep, I know, your worst nightmare. We have to let the fish go. Oh, angry, just angry. 40 and a quarter, I'm gonna call that one a throwback. I don't like keeping them when they're close like that. Another gorgeous Wally, 38 centimeter Wally. See ya. Here he is. Oh. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Doubles, baby. Doubles. Only too small. Just touching 40. Another one. Going back. It is a walleye. Oh, there's a fish on this one. Two of these guys. Hey. Hey, Bucky. <laughs> More fish than you can lick. Wow. This is crazy, guys. Like, crazy. For most of you that fish nipsing a lot, you, you know that. <laughs> For the most part, you know, sunrise and sunset are gonna be your wicked bite windows. You're not normally cracking them like crazy for, this is going on three hours straight now. Like this is just nuts. I've gotta be close to 40 fish here. I really hope I get this one. This one showed up pretty dang big. We'll see. We shall see. Oh yeah, buddy has folded my rod in half. Buck, out of the way. Out of the way, buddy. Out of the way. Yeah, buddy, let's go. That's a nice one. The bucks, of course, right in the way. Wow, that guy choked it. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, dude, the bottom's moving. How can I pack it in? I can't pack it in. No, when it's like this. No way. Look at this. Gone. Down the hatch. That's insane. Just skin hooked right in the roof of the mouth, but all the way in the back. Beauty. That's gonna be probably another 19 and a half inch or so, I'd say. Two bucks. Probably another 19. Look out. That is 18 and three quarter. Gorgeous nips and gold bar there. It's all cut up. If you see his uh, spines there, it's weird. Alrighty. This guy goes back. That's nuts. Who's texting me? Oh, Kirst. <laughs> uh, I told her that I was coming home because the bite slowed down, and of course these fish are just, they just keep coming in. They don't stop, so hopefully this will be our last eater, and I can uh, hold true to my word that I'm coming home. Let's see what we got here. I think this one's half decent. Yes, sir. Look out, Buck. <clears throat> Look out, Buck. Out of the way. Oh, this one feels nice, dude. Always running. What do we got? Oh, nice walleye. Nice walleye, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. oh. nice walleye, Buck. Holy cow. Dude. What do you mean? Look at the size of that pig. 
What? Oh man, nighttime is the right time. Choke that too. Look at the size of this one. She's a beaut. She is a beaut. That one's got to be all of probably 23 inches maybe. Another solid, like a solid, solid fish. Hey Bucky, can you give him a lick? This one's got to go back too. They've all got to go back. That's a beauty one. You love seeing that. 7.45 at night. Crazy, man. All right, she's going back. Where you go? Oh, you just got soaked. That's what you get for trying to get sneak a lick when you're letting her go. Yes, sir. Unreal. Well, it is time for me to start packing up here. It's now eight o'clock. The fishing has kind of slowed down pretty good there. I'm thinking that that was probably the last push of fish. I'm sure, if I sat here, I'd catch a, a bunch more, but uh, it's time to get home, time to eat some dinner, relax for the evening here. Yeah, crazy day. Um, we ended up catching quite a few decent sized fish. Uh, we got a 23 incher, we got a 18 and three quarter and a 19 and change, I think it was. Definitely found a, a pretty productive spot. I'm <laughs> I'm super glad that I kind of toughed it out because I, I can't lie to you, if I had pulled up to this spot and I actually had my drill today and I didn't have to drill these holes by hand, I probably would have left because I was not seeing any fish at all. I didn't see anything until probably about 3.45, which is right when that prime time bite window is starting. It was a little discouraging, especially when you're out on these mud flats, you're usually more into like a, a bit of an all day bite, even though, even if it might be perch or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I stuck around. I got probably three, three and a half solid hours of just like, non-stop fish which was really crazy like i said i probably caught maybe like 40 fish or so and a couple decent sized ones for sure next time i'll make sure that i do bring the drill because obviously i want to you know get some more holes i missed some fish because i've got my mega live pole in the same hole that i'm fishing from which uh you know is not ideal if you guys have any recommendations for uh mega live poles uh, for ice fishing shoot them down in the comments because I'm not a fan of this hummingbird one at all <laughs> I know that there's a lot of better systems out there so uh, shoot some recommendations down in the comments Buck and I hope you enjoyed today's video thank you guys very much for watching I appreciate the support uh, been getting a lot more traffic to the channel lately and it means a lot all the likes and and comments and subscribes are uh, are definitely greatly appreciated so we'll catch you guys in the next one peace